Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to be discussing compound angles. Before you start with compound angles, you need to be familiar with all the grade 11 trigonometry. When we are doing compound angles, you will see we go into identities, we go into special angles. So it is important that you are familiar with all the grade 11 trigonometry. If you are not familiar with it, it's advisable that you go over our summary before continuing with the section. When we are doing compound angles, the four basic compound angles is cos alpha minus beta, cos alpha plus beta, sin alpha plus beta, sin alpha minus beta. Now this expansion is on your formula sheet. So you don't necessarily need to memorize it, but it is advisable that you know how to use it to make it benefit you. Now, the first style they would give you is where they would tell you a basic expansion. So if I gave you sin x plus 20, and I told you to expand it, what you'd have to do is you would link it to one of these four. So in this case, it is the third one, which would become sin x cos 20 plus cos x sin 20. This is a basic expansion when we are taking the ratio and we are expanding it. But how would they ask you these questions? They usually try to link it to special angles. So if they ask you something like calculate the value of cos 75 degrees without the use of a calculator. Now, cos 75 degrees is the same as cos 30 degrees plus 45. What you need to notice is that 30 and 45 are both special angles. Now, once we had recreated the brackets, by using special angles, then we expand. Now the most common values that they tend to use in this case is 75. And the other favorite is 15 degrees. Why 15? Because 15 can be written as 45 minus 30. It can also be written as 60 minus 45. Both are special angles. Now, once we have written the brackets out, we now go and expand it. We know it's cos alpha plus beta. So we have cos 30 times cos 45 minus sin 30 times sin 45. From here, we go to special angles. We know cos 30 is a special angle. Cos 45. After that, it is your standard algebra. Now, most of your calculators would immediately be able to give you an answer. But if you do it step by step, we are multiplying root of 3 times root of 2 is root of 6, 2 times 2 is 4, minus root of 2 times 1 is root of 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Then we put it over a common denominator, giving us our final answer without the use of a calculator. Thank you for watching.